for joining us. We have some major breaking developments in the Holly Bobo case this afternoon. For the first time in court today, we heard from a witness who claims to have seen a video showing the nursing student after she was kidnapped. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is live in Henderson County, and Chris sounds like it was an emotional day for both friends and family. It certainly was, Vicki. What we did not see today was that video, which apparently shows Holly Bobo after she was taken from her home in Parsons three years ago. But we did get a much better idea of what that video may show if, in fact, it actually exists and as to how it relates to Jeff Piercy, who is being charged in this matter. Now, as we roll some video here, you want to keep in mind that this is all based off of testimony by Sandra King. We met her for the first time today, and she told the court that her and Jeff Piercy have lived together for a short time earlier this year. During that time while she was on the stand, she said she was shown a video by Jeff, who was given to him by his brother Mark, and she says that she claims that Holly was in that video. It was two weeks later, after she saw that video, apparently, that she went to the TBI. To corroborate what she was saying, the TBI then recorded a phone conversation between Sandra King and Jeff Piercy. That was also played in court today. It was highly racy, included a lot of sexual references as to their relationship. And under oath today, she claimed that she saw this mysterious video. He told me that Mark had videoed Zach having sex with Holly Bobo. Okay. And his exact words after he told me that was, he's a sick bastard. Okay. He even said that about Mark, too. All right. Um, so he goes to show you the video. And what did you see? I seen a woman that was tied up that was crying. All right. Now let's talk about that. Um, could, did you recognize the woman? She was blonde, yes, it looked like Holly Bobo. Okay. And she referred to a Holly. Holly who? We're referencing Holly Bobo. Are we? Or are we referencing Mr. Piercy's ex-wife, who's also named Holly? Which one was referenced on that tape? It said Holly. It doesn't say a last name, does it? Now, what that was there was a cross-examination by Jeff Piercy's lawyer of that special TBI agent who recorded that phone conversation between Sandra King and Jeff Piercy. They are questioning as to whether or not Holly Bobo was in that video. There's some question as to whether or not it was possibly Jeff Piercy's ex-wife who may resemble Holly Bobo. The state apparently has someone's phone right now that they're trying to unlock. They're waiting for some codes from the Apple company to try and get a hold of what's on one of those phones so they can figure out what is inside there. But they told the courtroom today, this, the TBI did, that they still have not seen this apparent video which shows Holly Bobo after she was kidnapped. The judge today did decide that there was probable cause, and this case will move forward to October. It was an incredibly tough day for Holly's family and friends who were sitting in the front row, as this was the first time we really heard any hard, concrete evidence in this case. You will hear from them and Jeff Piercy coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, we are live in Henderson County, Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.